Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain how to solve ratio problems. Rational numbers are ratios of integers and are used to show fractional relationships. However, the term ratio also tends to be used in a subtly different way. We need to be careful how we use it. For example, Suppose a box contains apples and oranges in the ratio 4 to 5. This ratio means that for every 4 apples, there are 5 oranges in the box. Thus, there are 4 fifths as many apples as there are oranges. It does not mean that the apples constitute 4 fifths of the fruit in the box. So what fraction of the fruit in the box are the apples? The ratio tells us 4 apples for 5 oranges. So for every 9 pieces of fruit, 4 are apples and 5 are oranges. Thus the apples constitute 4 ninths of the pieces of fruit, and the oranges 5 ninths. This principle typically applies with ratios. Suppose we have a category Z, made up of things of types X and Y. Then if x and y are in the ratio m to n, x and y are the fractions m over m plus n and n over m plus n, respectively, of z. At the same time, there are m over n as many things of type x as of type y. A sample problem will illustrate this. The local two-year community college has freshmen and sophomores in the ratio 4 to 3. If there are 980 students enrolled, how many are freshmen? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. If the ratio is 4 to 3, then 4 sevenths of the students are freshmen and 3 sevenths are sophomores. Therefore, to find the number of freshmen, we multiply the total enrollment, 980, by 4 sevenths. 4 sevenths times 980 equals 560. So the correct answer is B. A ratio is most often used directly. And in fact, this is the reason for expressing a relationship as a ratio. However, it may be advantageous to express the ratio as a fraction as we do in this example. To cite our apples-oranges example with the ratio 4 to 5, suppose we have 36 apples in the box. Then how many oranges do we have? This leads to an equation. Let x equal the number of oranges. 4 fifths equals 36 over x. So 4x equals 36 times 5. And x equals 9 times 5, which is 45. Here's another example. The local two-year community college has freshmen and sophomores in the ratio 4 to 3. If there are 560 freshmen, how many sophomores are there? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. The ratio allows us to establish an equation. 4 over 3 equals 560 over x. So 4x equals 560 times 3. And x equals 140 times 3. Therefore, x equals 420. So the correct answer is D. Now let's look at multiplying and inverting ratios. Ratios that relate a series of quantities in a chain can be combined as in the next example. Notice how the ratios, when expressed as fractions, can be multiplied, giving the desired result. The gross tax revenues of states X and Y have the ratio 3 to 2, and the tax revenues of states Y and Z have the ratio 9 to 7. What is the ratio of tax revenues of x to z? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. The two ratios we're talking about here can be expressed as fractions. x over y equals 3 over 2, and y over z equals 9 over 7. Therefore, if we want x over z, we simply multiply the two fractions x over y times y over z equals x over z. 
or 3 halves times 9 sevenths equals 3 times 9 over 2 times 7, which equals 27 over 14. So the correct answer is C. Ratios can also be inverted, so that if apples and oranges are in the ratio 4 to 5, then obviously oranges and apples are in the ratio 5 to 4. That is, if there are four-fifths as many apples as oranges, then there are five-fourths as many oranges as apples. Next, we look at ratios in a series. Often it's easier to express multiple ratios in a single series. To slightly alter our example, suppose we have tangerines, oranges, and grapefruit in a box in the ratio 5 to 4 to 3. Then we're saying that for every 12 pieces of fruit, 5 are tangerines, 4 are oranges, and 3 are grapefruit. Also, we know tangerines to oranges is 5 to 4, oranges to grapefruit is 4 to 3, and tangerines to grapefruit is 5 to 3. Problem. Elaine drove to the airport, took a flight to another city, and then rode in a taxi to the hotel. The total time for these activities was two and a half hours, and the ratio between them was three to five to two. How many minutes did she take to drive to the airport? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. Elaine's trip has three parts, and they have the ratio three to five to two. If we add these three numbers, we get 10. So the first part was three tenths of the trip, the second was five-tenths, and the third two-tenths. If the total time was two and a half hours, then the total time was 150 minutes. One-tenth of 150 equals 15 minutes. Since the first part was three-tenths of the trip, then the first part took three times 15, which equals 45 minutes. So the correct answer is D. Problem. Suppose the ratio of x to y is 5 to 3, and the ratio of y to z is 8 to 7. Then what is the ratio of x to y to z? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. We're interested in finding a ratio series of three integers. Expressing the given ratios as fractions and multiplying, we get x over y times y over z equals x over z, or 5 thirds times 8 sevenths equals 40 over 21. Thus the ratio of x to z is 40 to 21. The ratio of x to y is 5 to 3, which can be expressed as 5 to 3 equals 40 to 24. Putting these together, we see that the ratio of x to y to z is 40 to 24 to 21. So the correct answer is C. For more practice on GMAT problems, see our other videos and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our ebooks GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.